Hey! If you have a need to organize, but you're feeling unmotivated or overwhelmed, then it's completely normal not to know where to start. We're gonna show you exactly what to do when you don't know where to start organizing. We're gonna take you through our home and show an example of what we would do. We are all about diving in and just getting started organizing for the sake of building momentum. And organizing isn't really rocket science, but it is easy to get started and then just feeling like you're losing your grip on reality. Yeah, like you could get started and then lose steam halfway through a project, or you could get everything out and have all the steam in the world, but realize you don't have enough time. So where do you start organizing? When you don't know where to start organizing, the first thing that you need to do is to gain clarity. And that can be really difficult because when everything is unorganized and stuff is everywhere around you, then the first thing you lose is that clarity. So you really need to compose yourself. If you're over anxious and overwhelmed, then take a deep breath and compose yourself. You've started the process, so you're one step closer to actually getting something done. One of our favorite and most powerful tricks for gaining that clarity is to do what we call a housewalk. A housewalk is exactly what it sounds like. You stand up and you walk around your house. Now, preferably you'd have a piece of paper and a pen with you. And what you do is you write down all of the things that you want to fix or make better around the house. Organizing projects, things that actually need physical fixing and so on. Now, when you have that list, it's a lot easier to like pick something and get that done because that list gives you that clarity. Why don't we do that right now? Yeah. Okay, let's take you around our ground floor. We try to do these housewalks regularly and it hasn't been that long since the last time we did it. But I'm sure we can still find some things around this house. So over here, I noticed our daughter Emilia's beads. Uh, she did this a couple weeks ago and it's just been there since because we forgot about it. Now I'm going to put it back because I'm not supposed to be doing all this stuff right now. That's not the point of a housewalk. It's to put it on the list and then gather all the things around the house so I can deal with it when I have like a five minute slot. I can get like seven things off the list or if I have like a 15 minute slot, I can do a small project that requires a little bit more. So I'll put the beads on here. Over here we have a few things for baby proofing our cupboard. Now, I'd like to say they've only been here for like a day or so, but it's probably been like a couple of weeks. This is probably only going to take me like 10-15 minutes to do because I have all the things I need. So I'm going to put it on here, and then the beauty of having like a long list two items now, but it'll be longer, is to be able to prioritize them and group them in whichever way makes sense for you. Now, I know this is not strictly speaking organizing, but I know we have a few projects in the kitchen for that, so let's head over there now. In our kitchen, we have this thing that I love. It keeps us organized with pens and scissors and recycling paper. But this shelf here has lost its way and it's full of all sorts of stuff that shouldn't be there. I'm gonna put it on the list and figure out a way to deal with that at a later time. Down here we have my pots and pans and different bowls. They're really hard to get to and this is something I use daily. So I need to figure out a way to have this running a lot smoother and have things be a lot more accessible because this is bothering me. Now I hope you don't look at our home and think, well their house is so perfect and their organizing projects are nothing like the ones I need to undertake because our home didn't always used to look like this. There was a time we had dishes everywhere, I had more drunk drawers than I'd like to admit and our cleaning really happened very sporadically. It really is a gradual process and the housework is great for you to identify the low hanging fruits, the things that are gonna make the biggest difference for you and your family in your everyday life so you get more energy to keep going in your organizing efforts. Back here I have another project that needs to get done and that's my spices. This here is a mess I feel like. I can't find what I'm looking for and it's medicine cabinet, oils and spices all like mumbled together. So. I have to figure out a way to make this a lot more accessible and a lot more user friendly. So that's a project that I'm gonna have to put on my list. Now we've done a quick mini housewalk of the ground floor. We actually did a video on the housewalk where we go into it in more detail a few months ago. So please feel free to check that one out for more information and more detailed advice on how to do a proper housewalk. And if you like this kind of content and would like to see more videos like this, then please click the subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications. And then we can be internet friends for years to come. When you don't know where to start organizing, doing the prep work right and getting that overview is really what will help you 
strew out breadcrumbs along the way so that if you get lost in those organizational woods that you can find your way out again. And while we've talked about the housewalk being great for gaining that clarity and prioritizing the organizational tasks in your home, what we haven't talked about and is great to understand is that clarity in and of itself is a great motivational booster. And when you do have motivation, then what you need to do next is to pick an area to start organizing. Once you've picked an area, it is super important for you to have a plan for how you're gonna tackle it. And the most important thing here is to have an image in your mind that you can go back to that tells you what it is that you want from the area. You get that image by asking yourself the right questions. What is it that you want from the area once you're done? Who's gonna be using it and maintaining the area? And also what's working really well for it already and what is maybe not working so well for that area. And then you take those things and you string them together in such a way that what you organize here and now will actually paint that picture in reality that you already have in your mind. Now we know that you guys like to watch our videos while you're doing housework and we don't want to dissuade you from doing that but maybe just pause doing that laundry or washing the floors just for a minute and do a quick housewalk of the room that you're in right now. It doesn't even have to be a house walk. It just be like a house stand or a house sit. That's a different thing though. Yeah, let's not do that. Anyways, write down the things that you notice that you could organize or fix or clean up in the area around you. And then if you're feeling super adventurous, we would love to hear what those things are. So leave us a comment and let us know. If we were to pick one thing from our housewalk list, it would probably be the spice cabinet. So why don't we head to the kitchen right now and deal with that as we show you step by step what to do when you're actually organizing. So we're going again? Yeah, let's All go. right, camera. Come with us if you want to live. Worst Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> impersonation ever. We picked the spice cabinet because it's gonna make a huge difference in our daily life. And it's also not gonna take that long because oh, I cheated a little and got all the organizers we need ahead of time. Now, usually I wouldn't recommend going out and just buying organizers before you know the project, but I've measured that thing out like crazy. I know exactly what can fit in there because I've been wanting to do it for so long. And I wouldn't let that stop you. If you don't have the stuff that you need or the permanent solution that you really envisioned, start with what you have. Because mm -hmm. you might have some boxes or containers that you can use to start organizing, and then at least it'll start functioning and you can actually tweak it uh, before you buy the solution that you actually want to have long term. So first we need to clean it and we've done most of them but we have a couple left that fit it. Are you going to clean those while I empty out the spice cabinet? I guess I am. <laughs> The first thing that you want to do when you're organized is to declutter. That's really number one, two, and three. You might have things that are expired or duplicates, and those take up space that make it difficult for you to find stuff that you're looking for and to reach things that you need. So I'm going to go through all my spices now and just really divide them into three categories. What I'm going to keep, what I'm going to donate because they're still good but I don't use them, and then what's expired and has to be thrown away. In a general sense, you want to get rid of stuff that's broken or doesn't function for you or you just don't use anymore. We did a bunch of videos, a bunch, on decluttering at the end of last year, so make sure you check those out when you're done with this one. Alright, now back to it. Okay. Why would you have confetti in the spice cabinet? was all expired. I had no idea I had that many oils are expired. I need to go oil shopping now, baby. Now, the image I'm trying to hold onto my head is that I want the spices I use most frequently to be easy to get a hold of. That means in this here thing. So I'm gonna have to find those I use most and then maybe keep the ones I don't use as often in a different type of container in the back. Also, these little bags here are super annoying and they're a lot easier to get out when they're in the, the containers that you can just shake. So I wanna get rid of the bags and then I'll group accordingly. Okay. 
So I organize these in a way that makes sense to me. So the ones I use most often are together and then the ones I use for like the same type of recipes I put together as well. So just think about that when you're organizing, put it in a way that makes sense for you because you're the one using it. We're making really good headway. I think we'll probably wrap this up within the next half an hour or so. And like we said to begin with, this is not rocket science, but there are certain mistakes that you want to avoid making if you don't want to spend all of your time on organizing once you actually do get started. We put together a nice little guide called the top three mistakes to avoid while organizing. So check out our website, we'll put the link down below for some really good additional tips on how to get organizing done. That was it. Hope you found it useful. YouTube has some other suggestions if you like this kind of content, so check those out, and then we'll see you next week.